Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome to Stephen Jackson's Sorcery, a choose-your-own-adventure-style digital novel. Now, for those of you who are a bit younger, um, who may know what a pick-your-own-adventure book is, they are something from my childhood which I greatly enjoyed, which were before computer games were that accessible or were well, they come from a time when computer games were still relatively ex well, I say relatively, but were very expensive and if you could not afford them this was basically the next best thing, pick your own adventure books they were um, a multi-choice book where you basically used a pen and a dice and or a pencil, dice, and a rubber, and the book itself, and you gave yourself equipment, and you went on adventures, and they were really enjoyable, and I'm really happy to be sharing this nostalgic um, trip down memory lane for me. I I am going to be doing, um, attempting to be doing, like, different voices for the characters and stuff, so I apologise if I don't sound particularly fantastic. It's not really an area that I specialise in, though I, I might practice if you guys wish it off me or just found it entertaining. So let's do part one. The Sam Samutan Tanti Samutanti Hills. Right, begin your adventure. Who do you want to play? A male Well a lord or a lady. Let's play Hmm. Well, since Christmas is almost upon us, and I fancy doing something a bit different, let us play a female character, shall we? Oh, I love this music. You've walked the wilds of Kahambad through Kari and the spiritual Barklands all the way to the Mapang. You've survived traps, thieves, serpents and vengeful gods, and now it is here, the crown of kings. It is said that the crown was never forged, only found by Charlena the reformer, a lowly foot soldier who became empire, emperor of the eastern world. Such is the power of the crown. The air around it crackles with influence. Take it or wait. Hmm. What do you think we should do, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm. I mean, it made basically a foot soldier into an emperor. Let's take it. No guts, no glory. Your destiny awaits. With the crown in your hand, you'll be, the, you'll be as powerful as Chalena. The goblins are arming, the giants are waking, and the birdmen curving cruel daggers from st carving cru cruel daggers from stone. War will come, but you will prevent it. But then, the image of the crown begins to flicker. You rush forward. It's a trap. and you startle yourself awake. You are alone, exhausted, in a little hut in the outpost settlement. Your imaginable journey is not even a single step begun. <sighs> Such is the life of an adventurer. Continue. Inkle presents... Steve Jackson's Sorcery Part 1 The Summertine Hills. Summertine Hills. Click your character to continue. It is sunrise. You dress breakfast breakfast on bread and goat's milk. Hmm, that sounds nice. Collect the pack and sword from the beside your bed. Test the blade. Pray for luck. Let's test the blade. Leave the hut. Pray for luck. Test the blade. Let's test the blade. You pause the tester blade against your thumb. The blacksmith has done well. The edge is keen and he draws a narrow line of blood. Outside the hut you hear the outpost settlement stirring into life. Pray for luck. Taking a moment more, you close your eyes, raise a prayer to your spirit guide. This morning it has, it has the form of panther, but, will, but what will it become once your journey truly begins? You greatly descend, but a great calm descends upon you. Time to go. Time then to depart. You lift back the flap of the hut and step into the early morning sunshine. Right, here we are. Let's see what items we have. Weapons. 
I have a sword. Center on me, I've got stamina, which I suppose I use for accents. We have no rations. Let's see where we are. We are in the Northern Passage by the Charm Charmberry Wood. What's this war called? Can't tell. We're on the way to Contem Canton Pani, Canton Pani for the Canton Pani Gates. So let us head off to Drag a Path to the Flag. Eyes follow you as you leave the hut and walk towards the great Saman Sumatan Sumatanti Sumatanti Wall. The frontier people of this town settlement are well aware of your mission. Greet them or ignore them. Well, let's be polite. Greet them. You turn to, to them and bow. Sm some, mile, some smile in reply, but are too afraid to approach. Others make gestures of protection. You are going beyond the wall, so they believe you, you to be cursed. A man is waiting on the path to the Contampani Gate, the final doorway between Arnaland and the wilds of Kaharbad. You recognise the sergeant of the site, the sergeant of the site master warriors. He holds out his hand. Oh, that's cool. Greetings, sergeant. Get out of my way. Yeah, probably not a good idea to provoke someone who looks like this or whose mission is to basically guard the gate where we need to get through so let's go greetings sergeant you call out he touches his forehead with two fingers you are almost sorry. you are almost ready my lady he says i have a gift for you from the king twenty four gold pieces it is all we can spare this time he holds out a pouch take it take half refuse it well since we've got no money and no rations I'm going to take it you accept the gift graciously thank you you reply you should buy some supplies before you pass the wall the sergeant says and you must collect your spell book if you wish to magic to aid you finally you should wish to practice your sword play I will go one last round with you and at this point and and he points his staff towards the training grounds continue Right, we've got gold, training grounds, spell book. Well, let's go to the training grounds, shall we? You walk with the sergeant into the training grounds. He wraps the base of his staff in leather. Ready your sword. To begin, the sergeant says... Sorry. To begin, the sergeant says, we will practice this stance. First, defend against me. Choose to attack your attack power by dragging your character sideways. To defend, stay fully left. Sigmaster is a powerful enemy, but defending you receive minimum damage from the attack he makes. The Sight Master Sergeant chooses a strong attack. You turn it away with minimum impact. I will now defend myself, he says. Whatever. Sorry. I, I will now defend myself, he says. Whatever attack you play will da whatever you play will damage me, but a strong attack will use up more power. You should choose your attack. You should choose a weak attack. To select a to weak attack, move your character at a small distance to the right, right of the defense stance. Oh, I see. So they go defend. Let's try. Let's go with a free power attack. Side swipe. You make a medium attack. Rushing for the site master, the site master sergeant who is defending. You could have played a lower attack and saved more power for the next turn. My next attack will be weak, he declares. You will be able to overpower. You will be able to overpower me by playing a strong attack. But be sure your your attack is stronger. Make a strong attack to pull the character to the by pulling the character to the right. Right, so a free was medium attack. Let's go five. You perform a medium play, overpowering the Sight Master Sergeant again, who tries a, a low or careful attack. Overpowering a weak attack is easy, so do so. you did well to win without using too much power. The enemy stamina is at the top. If it reaches zero, you win the fight. 
Oh, okay, I see. So when basically when you run out of stamina, you lose basically. Oh, your health, yeah, you know, your health disappears. Um. My next attack will be a medium strength. He declares, "You may be able to overpower me if you wish to try." To t okay, how much power do I have left? He hasn't got much power. Let's go all or nothing. Four. Just managed to overpower him. You make a medium attack, injuring the sight mask sergeant once more. He bows. You have finished. So he bows. You have finished me. Excellent. One stamina loss, skilled sword play. I lost stamina. I obviously it must replenish over time. You have. You. S you seem to remember the basics, the sergeant says breathlessly. Good. Another round. Enough training. You shake your head. Very good, the sergeant agrees. But if you wish to about in earnest, then I warn you, I will not go easy on you. He indicates a wide yard where the space, where there is space for a true match. Fight in the yard. Collect spell book. One of the huts sits slightly back from the others. It's decorated with glyphs and strange symbols. A terrible smell emanates from its doorway. In this hut of the chief mage, he has been preparing your spell book for days, reading star charts to work out which spells will be available to you in the different locations in the hills beyond. Do without the book, go inside. I, f I, li I think I like the idea of like sword and sorcery, like having like a, a battle mage or something like that. You lift, lift the flap and go inside. The mage looks up with you a haggard, sleepless eyes and presses the book into your hands. Do you understand how to use this? he asks. Let's say, tell me. Tell me, you reply. Each spell is crafted for an alignment of three stars, he begins. The spell Zap, for example, is made by aligning, by aligning Zarafastra, Aegis, and Pini. But that is not Im that is not important. What matters is what the spell is called and what it does. Zap gives you control over lightning. Hot will create a fireball. Fireball, and Foth will create a force field around you. Shall I continue? Tell me more, you poor crest. The mage nods. The law spell is formed by Lilith. Aegis and Wex, and it will allow you to control the will of unintelligent creatures. The Wal spell is created differently and uses different stars. The order matters, you see. Wal creates an invisible barrier. You will find the rest in the book, he adds, tapping the leather bound volume. Let's probably ask for some more information. I want to know more. Does the mage look surprised? Well, the dope spell or dupe spell is a useful is useful for locks. Wook will seal you in battle, and dumb will cause calmness or clumsiness. He scratches absently at his ear. Remember, these spells will cost you effect to use, but the ones that don't will not work without focus. An item of some kind. You will need to read the book to know what. Research magic using the spell book button on the map. Let's see. So we look at the. Sp Let's just go and have a look at the spell book. Sorcery spell book. This spell. This volume contains 48 spells of high craft, as discovered and passed down through generations to generations of sorcerers. From the early days of the Eastern world, each spell is formed of three letters and each spell will take energy to cast. Furthermore, these spells fail without the use of a particular item or focus. Six most useful spells. To learn this, to learn only six spells for your adventure, learn if you learn only six spells for your adventure, learn these. Zap creates lightning bolts from fingertips. Foof creates protective force field. Law enables non-intelligent creatures to be controlled. Dumb makes creatures extremely clumsy. Hot, well we know these. 
All these spells are extremely tiring and will cost you 3 points of stamina. More eco economic value versions exist, but they but though some rely on the caster's own particular items and powers. Oh cool, they've got pictures. Zap, hot, foo, wal, dun, or dumb, law. Oh, these are like the different ones, like big. The spell cast on the cast of the owner body will inflate the, um, inflate the body three times normal size. Wook. For one piece of gold, including long form stamina, this spell requires a gold coin which is placed on the caster's wrist. When the spell is cast, it will transform into an invisible metal sealed. But the coin will be lost. Oh, that's cool. Dupe. Requires beeswax. Dop. Unlocks doors. Six. Oh, there's so many spells. Vial of glue requires troll teeth. God, this is awesome. Right, we've got the spell book. I think we should go and get some rations, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? The small trader in the settlement supply the small the small traders in the settlement supplying supplying the Sigmaster Sigmaster warriors with weapons, armor, food, and clothing. You go over to the sergeant to, to st over to the sergeant to s start selling flat who to a store selling flatbreads and cheese. Two gold uh, two gold go two gold pieces per ration. The owner groans. Hmm, let's try haggling. Do you know who I am? I'm Arnold great new hope, you tell him. The man looks uncomfortable, I know that, but I have to feed my... F I know that, but I have to feed my family today. Whatever happens to the crown? Well, it's two gold per ration. I got 24 gold I could buy. Let's buy more. You check your pack, there's room for plenty inside, I'll take oh, it's two for one, so if I get six that's twelve gold, let's get six I'll take six, you you give I'll give you that for that for ten, oh that's cool, I get a discount, that's awesome buy them check the contents of your pack using the left button, continue items so we've got our spell book so we can go in from there. We've got some treasure. Just thought we've got some rations. Six meals. I take it that we that we basically use rations to like what's baboon. That brings up the menu. I don't know what baboon does. Time is pressing on. Let's try visit the fight yard. I want to actually have a proper fight. You head over to the yard to practice about a real fight, and the sergeant removes the cloth padding from the base of his staff and see uh, unsheath my sword. It's time. I will not tell you my intentions. He says, "You will have to read them for yourself. Be ready." Well, let's defend for now. Oh, well, he defended as well. The sightmaster bows to you, taps the ground of his long staff and readies his stance. You drop into a de defensive crouch immediately. The sightmaster is, is not to be trifled with. The, ser the sergeant covers himself as well. Oh, he's got to defend. Let's defend again. Took one damage. You hold firm and keep up your defense as he tries a deep, a deep bash, but duck, but you duck. Fast work, he grunts. He sifts his grip to hold his staff more loosely. He seems to be paying for a simple jab. You, a chance to overpower him, perhaps. Well, let's do. Let's do. A side swipe. Let's swipe it aside. Time to attack. You swing your sword fast in towards his chest, but he's mo he moves. But he moves. But his own move is fast and careful, and he's able to parry the worst of the strike. His eyes follow your soldier. He's probably about to defend himself. You realise a strong hit would be wasteful now. Yeah, let's... I think I'm going to defend. Yeah, he did defend. You drop yourself into a crouch, and he hangs back and watches you in return. His guard is coming up, conserving his energy, so that his next strike can be strong. 
Ooh. I could try and overpower him. Let's try it. Let's go... Four. Acting quickly, you lash violently across his chest, but Im the impact clangs against his defending staff, and only you only lay on a minor wound to me smiles, but is left breathless, but not seriously hurt. Hmm, I think we've got to defend. Ah! You whip out your defence, he lightly, but he lightly blows sail, but his light blow sails over your head, you escape mostly uninjured. He watches your footwork closely. You hear observes in the crowd gathering, murmuring expectations. But do they expect a violent blow from him or from you? I think he's probably going to defend. Let's defend. Yeah. Afraid to try me, he goes and he circles again. He faints left. Keep up the defense. Oh. You circle around him, his his arms length at arm's length, his attack whizzes past you and on your left side. You see his arm grow tense, he's ready for a strong attack. Right, I can't take this, I need to counterattack myself. Go for it. Eight. Thrust at him. Leaping into action, you rush forward with a deep, heavy slash that is enough to finish him. The sight master throws down his stuff. You have me, he de You have me, he declares with a grin. Free stamina lost, a decent duel. Continue. The sergeant is gasping for breath. He bows to you once more. Very good, he nods. Although you will need to protect yourself better out there. As he talks, a nearby healer hurries over with a salve, and your health from the sergeant is quickly restored. Right, I think we should call it quits for the day, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the, subscri please press the subscription button. You can follow me in Facebook or Twitter, or look me up at the links below. If you wish, you can leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always happy to have them, and I'd like to know what you people think about this game. I'm looking forward to playing it. I've been Cornish Knight, and I shall catch you all next time. Goodbye.